Hello everyone. In today's class, we'll be talking about the algebraic identities. We'll talk about the algebraic identities. That is the eight or twelve basic identities based on polynomials, based on the algebraic expressions, based on a plus b, a minus b. So the first four identities are general identities which we had discussed in the previous class. I'm going to show you these identities on your screen. That is x plus y, x plus y whole square. Is x plus y whole square is nothing but x square plus 2xy plus y square. That is this identity x plus y whole square is equals to x square plus 2xy plus y square. This is the first identity. We read it as a plus b whole square as well. That is a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now the next identity is a minus b whole square. That is a minus b whole square is nothing but a square square minus 2ab plus b square or x plus x minus y whole square is x square minus 2xy plus y square. Now the next identity is a minus b whole square or we can say this as this difference of two squares, two perfect squares. The difference of two perfect square two squares is x square minus y square which is x plus y into x minus y. The identity is x square minus y square is x plus y into x minus y. Or vice versa, x plus y into x minus y is equal to x square plus x square minus y square. In form of a and b, it will be a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b or a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. Now, the next identity is x plus a into x plus b. x plus a into x plus b is x square plus a plus b into x plus a b. This is the fourth identity. The fourth identity says x plus a into x plus b is equals to x square plus a plus b into x plus a b. So here this identity can be applicable for to find out the product of x plus 3, x plus 5. So there will be x square plus a plus b that is 3 plus 5 into x that is 8x and 3 into 5, 15. We'll have a look on the questions also. So these are the four basic identities which we had already which we have studied in the previous classes or earlier classes. This identities can be applicable for the examples like x plus 3 into x plus 3 that will be a plus b whole square or x minus 3 into x plus 5 this will be the fourth identity that is x plus a into x plus b using identity 4 we can find out the product of x minus 3 and x plus 5. So this will be x square instead of a it is mentioned minus 3 instead of b it is plus 5 and in case of a into b it is minus 3 into plus 5. So when we'll find out the addition of 5 and minus 3, it will be plus 2x and product of 3 and minus 5, it will be minus 50. So the product of this two, x plus 3, x minus 3 and x plus 5 using identity 4, it is x square plus 2x minus 15. Now, we need to find out the product of 105 and 106, we can represent it as 100, 100 plus 5. And 100 plus 6. 100 plus 5 in case of 100, 100 plus 5 instead of x we have 100. Instead of a we have 5. In case of 100 plus 6 instead of x we have 100 and instead of b we have plus 6. So we can multiply in that way x square that is 100 square plus a plus b that is 5 into 5 plus 6 into x that is 100 plus a into b. Now the 100 square is 10,000. 5 plus 6 is 11, 11 into 100, 1100, and 5, 6 are 30. If we'll add this to these three numbers, there is 10,000 plus 1100 plus 13,030. It will be 11130 is the product of 105 into 106 without actual multiplication. Even we can factorize the same using the identities. If it is the identity is 49 square plus 70 AB plus 25 B square, we can see 49 and 25 are perfect square of 7 and 5 respectively. 49 A square is 7 A whole square, 25 B square is 5 B square, whereas 70 AB can be represented as 2 into 7 A into 5 B. So 2 into 7 into 5 B is 70 A. Now this is nothing but a square plus 2ab plus b square because we know the identity a square plus 2ab plus b square. We can apply the identity and factorize it in this form 7a plus 5b and 7a plus 5b. 
Similarly, we can uh, factorize in form of a square minus b square, we have 25 square of 5, 4 is square of 2, and y square of y, 9 is square of 3. So we can apply the identity as, as a square minus b square, the product a square minus b square, that will be a plus b into a minus b. In this case, the we have next identity, identity number 5 in front of you, as x plus y plus z whole square, this x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx. This is the new identity, the identity number 5. So, we have identity a plus b plus c whole square is a square plus b square plus c square plus twice ab plus twice bc plus twice ca. It vice versa, a square plus b square plus c square plus twice ab plus twice bc plus twice ca is a plus b plus c whole square. So, we can apply the identity both the ways. Uh, in this way, we, if we need to expand it, 3a plus 4b plus 5c, we can apply the identity here and we will get the expanded form as 9a square plus 16b square plus 25c square as a square that is 3a square, b square that is 4b square and c square that is 5c square, 3a square is 9c, 9a square, 4b square is 16b square and 5c square is 25c square. Now 2ab, 2 into 3a into 4b that is 4, these are 12, these are 24 ab, 2 yz 2yz that is 2 into 4b into 5c that is 40bc and 2zx that is 2 into 5c into 3a 5 2s are 10 3s are 30 ca or ac so the expanded form of 3a plus 4b plus 5c whole square is 9a square plus 16b square plus 25c square plus 24ab plus 40bc plus 30ac so in this way we can expand or factorize the question now we have the next two identities in front of us a plus b whole square and a minus b whole square or x plus y square and x minus y whole is whole cube sorry whole cube so it's x plus y whole cube is x cube plus y cube plus 3xy x plus y x cube plus y cube is equals to x plus y whole cube is equals to x cube plus y cube plus 3xy x plus y or vice versa a cube plus b cube plus 3ab a plus b is equals to a plus b whole cube. This 3ab inside the bracket, outside the bracket, we can multiply this 3ab inside the bracket. When we multiply this 3ab inside the bracket, we'll get the identity in this form. That is x cube plus 3x square y plus 3xy square plus y cube or if we'll re rearrange it, it will be x cube plus y cube plus 3x square y plus 3xy square after multiplying this 3xy inside the bracket. So, uh, seventh identity we have for both the forms that is x minus y cube is x cube minus y cube minus 3xy x minus y. x cube x minus y whole cube is x cube minus y cube minus 3xy x minus y. Or after rearrangement or multiply minus 3xy inside the bracket, it will be x cube minus 3x square y plus 3xy square minus y cube x cube minus 3x square y plus 3xy square minus y cube it is plus 3x square square minus y cube so this is the identity we can uh, apply in both the ways lhs is equals to rhs or rhs equals to lhs vice versa so if we need to expand 3a plus 4b whole cube we'll apply the identity a plus b whole cube if we need to factorize something in the form of the right hand side, we can write it as x. This like uh, we have example 24, we need to factorize 8x cube plus 27y cube plus 36x square y plus 54xy square. We'll check whether it is suitable for the identity. If it suits the identity 6 or 7, we'll write it as a plus b whole cube, that is 2x plus 3y whole cube, that is 2x plus 3y, 2x plus 3y, and 2x plus 3y. Now, the next identity, very important one, we have x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz is equals to x plus y plus z, x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx. This is the next identity, a very important one. x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz is x plus y plus z, x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx in the form of abc it is a cube plus b cube plus c cube plus minus 3abc a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc is equals to 
a plus b plus c in a bracket, then a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca. This is the eighth identity. Now, the ninth identity is question number 13 of your exercise 2.5. This is the ninth identity. If a plus b plus c is equals to 0, if x plus y plus z is equals to 0. In case if x plus y plus z is equals to 0, this x, if you substitute this x plus y plus z is equals to 0 in the previous identity, that is identity number 8, that will be a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc is equals to 0. Because a plus b plus c is in the bracket, the multiplication of a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus c is a. So if a plus b plus c is equal to this first bracket is 0, then the 0 into something will all become 0. It means a cube, x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz is equal to 0. If we transport this minus 3xyz from LHS side, left hand side to right hand side, it will become x cube plus y cube plus z cube is equal to 3xyz. That is the new identity, identity number 9. Now, the 10th identity in front of us is this. That is x cube plus y cube is equals to x plus y x square minus x y plus y square x cube plus y cube is equals to x plus y x square minus x y plus y square this is the identity number 10 now the 11th identity is x cube minus y cube is equals to x minus y x square plus x y plus y square x cube minus y cube is equals to x minus y x square plus x y plus y square this identity is applicable for factorizing this sort of questions there is a cube plus b cube or 27 y cube plus 125 z cube can be written as 5 z, 5 y whole cube and 5 z whole cube so it will be a cube plus b cube in the second part it is 64 n cube minus 343 and cube 64m cube is 4m whole cube and 343n cube is 7n whole cube. So we can factorize this using the identity 10 and 11 that is question number 9 part 1 and part 2. These are the 11 identities. Now the 12th identity is nothing but the another form of identity number 8 that is x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz is half of x plus y plus z x minus y is whole square plus y minus z whole square plus z minus x whole square. This is the 12th identity and 12th question of exercise 2.5. So these are the 12 identities which you are supposed to learn for solving and factorizing the 15, 16 questions of exercise 2.5. This whole exercise is this up to question number 14. This all 14 question or sub part of this 14 questions are depend upon this identities only so we'll have a look on a few questions let's discuss the first question of exercise 2.5 here we go we have x plus 4 and x plus 10 this is the first question we need to use suitable identity to find out the product of this x plus 4 and x plus 10 so if we can remember identity number 4, it is nothing but x plus a into x plus b. In this question, the value of x is x only. Instead of a, we have number 4 and instead of b, we have number 10. So if we have number 4 and number 10 here, we can solve this question using identity x plus a into x plus b is equals to x square plus a plus b into x plus a b x plus a into x plus b that is identity number four is equals to x square plus a plus b into x plus a b so while applying the identity on this question On applying the identity on this question, what we are going to get is all right. Let me stop sharing and let me show you the uh, solution here. So we have uh, five, five 
part of this question. So the first part is x plus 4 into x plus 10. We will apply the identity. We have x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b x into a b. This is what we the identity is. We know that. x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b into x. And we have here a, a is equal to 4 and b is equal to 10. And x is nothing but x only. So x square plus a plus b, that is a plus b is 4 plus 10 into x plus 4 into 10. That is a into b. After solving this, we'll get x square, 4 plus 10 is 14x plus 40. The next part is x plus 8 into x minus 10. Now this x plus 8 into x minus 10, instead of x we have x only, instead of a we have 8 and instead of b we have minus 10. So we'll apply the identity, we know that x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b into x. And instead of a we have 8, instead of b we have minus 10, we'll substitute the values x square as it is instead of a 8, instead of b minus 10 into x plus 8 into minus 10 instead of a into b. So this x square minus 8 minus plus 8 minus 10, 8 minus 10 is minus 2x and 8 into minus 10 will give you minus 80. So this is the expanded form of the question x plus 8 into x minus 10. Now the next is 3x plus 4 into 3x minus 5. We know that the identity x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b into x plus a b. Here we have instead of x we have 3x, instead of a we have 4, instead of b we have minus 5. So when we substitute the values in x square plus a plus b into x plus a b, it is x square, this 3x whole square, then a plus b, that is 4 minus 5 into x, instead of x we have 3x plus a into b, that is 4 into minus 5. Now 3x whole square is 9x whole square. 9x square, 4 minus 5 is minus 1, minus 1 into 3x will give you minus 3x and 4 into minus 5, 1 positive, 1 negative, the answer will be negative, minus 20. Now, this question, question number 4, uh, part 4 of question number 1, y square plus 3 by 2 into y square minus 3 by 2. So here we can apply this identity as well as the new identity which is a plus b into a minus b. So we'll apply here the identity a plus b into a minus b which is most suitable. A plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. We have a is equal to y square and b is equal to 3 by 2. We'll substitute the value of a and b that is y square whole square minus 3 by 2 whole square. y square whole square is y raised to power 4 minus 3 square is 9, 2 square is 4. So this is the factorized form or the solution of the question given in suitable, using suitable identity. Now, the last part of this question is 3 minus 2x and 3 plus 2x. Here also we can apply the identity of a minus b into a plus b, which is a square minus b square. So a minus b into a plus b is a square minus b square. Here we have a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 2x. We will substitute the values a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 2x. So it will be 3 square minus 2x whole square. 3 square is 9 whereas 2x whole square is 4x square. So this is the expanded uh, form of 3 minus 2x into 3 plus 2x. Now the next question, question number 2 will discuss one part of this question that is 103 into 107. This also we can represent as 100 plus 3 into 100 plus 7. Now this 100 plus 3 and 100 plus 7, this is x plus a into x plus b. We can apply the identity as x plus a into x plus b is x square plus a plus b into x plus a b. So we have, instead of x, we have the value 100. Instead of a, we have value 3. In place of b, we have value 7. So we'll substitute the value in the uh, identity, that is 100 square plus 3 plus 7 into 100 plus 3 into 7. 100 square is 10,000. 3 into 7, 3 plus 7, 10. 10 into 100, 1000 and 3 into 7 is 21. Now while we will add this, this will be 11021. This is the first part of the question number 2. Uh, question number 2, part 2 and part 3. Part 2 is same as question number uh, 2, part 1 only. It's 95 into 96. You can represent it as either 90 plus 5 into 90 plus 6 or 100 minus 5 
into 100 minus 4. In the second part, we have 104 into 96. This can be written as 100 plus 4 into 100 minus 4. And the identity which should be applied here is a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square. In the next class, we'll talk about the question based upon these identities. Thank you very much. Have a good day.